This trial has been very important in that it has demonstrated uh, that this does work. We've had over 100 patients in this trial and uh, again these patients are mostly from America where Dr. Wells who uh, currently works here in Oxford was initially based. Um, so I think we are now offering this, offering this service routinely here in Oxford so we hope that it will be developed through other clinics as well. Traditionally how embryos are selected uh, before they're put back into the woman's womb is on, on how they appear. We look at the number of cells that are in the embryo, we look at how the cells appear. And, but even we know that by day five of the embryo's existence, even though we pick the best looking embryos, at least 50% of these are genetically abnormal. This technique al allows us to look at the embryo very early on, take some of the genetic material out, analysis, analyze it to make sure that the embryo is normal. Now this has been done by different techniques in the past with variable results and some uh, people are of the belief before that it was actually damaging the embryo more than actually doing any benefit. This technique that we're currently using is showing that it actually is a benefit. We have, we have been, we've seen this uh, increase uh, in the NHS provision of IVF over the last uh, two to three years following the NICE guidelines in 2004, um, but even at its best IVF will be 30 to 50 percent successful. If we can increase that up to 70, 80 percent, then for the NHS this would be a massive uh, cost saving. At the moment it's in the order of about 2,000 pounds, which uh, if we look at that, if, uh, if we can have an increase in 30 to 40 percent in the success rate, then uh, that would be actually a net equal um, uh, for the patient.